All right, we suffered through some technical difficulties and we're back. And now we're going to look at the second most reaction, most important reaction, sorry, in organic chemistry. It's the Claisen condensation. Claisen condensation. And it's what you get when an enolate attacks an ester. That's the only definition of a Claisen condensation. When an enolate attacks an ester. So first we have to make our enolate. And in step two, I see an ester, don't you? Yep. And that makes this a Claisen. And step three, there's some cool stuff going on. All right. Talk about step three when we get there. We have nitrogen. We have alpha H right here. And yep, this is going to be an enolate. I won't draw the resonance form this time. You never need it. I like this resonance form because it definitely shows carbon as the nucleophile, even though it's not the better resonance form. Uh, yeah, that's going to attack an ester, and esters always get attacked the same way. Step one, you hit the carbonyl, the pi breaks. That's step one. Step two, the electrons resonate back down and kick off your leaving group. Okay, step one was here for reacting with the base. Instead of these red blue combination is here. And you made your new sigma bond, very exciting stuff. I think I'm just going to draw CO2ET from now on. How's that? And that made a bond to this black thing here. Yeah. And you also made OCH3 minus. That is, uh, some of you are probably wondering, why is he drawing the same molecules he drew at the top of the screen? He's finished. He should just quit. Well, the laws of acid and base say I can't quit because we have this TKA here. And I, I kind of changed my mind. I'm going to redraw this so it's very obvious that that H is, uh, oh, that's a methyl over there, Never mind. Stop talking, there you go. That's a methyl. I hope it's clear this H is alpha to two carbonyl. It is, okay. Well, that's an OET, sorry. My apologies. But still, that doesn't change what I just said, does it? The H is alpha to two carbonyl. This is a new pKa for us. We must learn it right now. When you're an alpha H to alpha to two carbonyl, your pKa is 10. That's new. That means you can't stop this mechanism here. Methoxide, OCH3 negative, is the conjugate base of methanol, pKa16. You must obey the laws of pKa. You can't pretend they don't happen. And the other product is right here. I'm going to go monochromatic with the blue. You got an ET down here, you got your minus here, and you got your CO2ET. And that's gonna kick out, kill my lone pair a little bit. Here we are. Lone pair's back. And that's why we have HCL as step three. 
Step two was continued here. This is step three. Uh, we can draw the HCL over again. Acid base. End of story. And what do you get in a Claisen condensation? You get a new bond between the alpha position here and a new beta position here. The beta carbon used to be an ester, and now it's a ketone. So it's a beta keto ester here. Beta keto ester. And if you see a beta keto ester, you should think. I can make that with a Claisen condensation very easily. Hey, here's a beta keto ester. How can you make that? With a Claisen condensation, very easily. In fact, this one's so easily, it's called a simple, simple Claisen. What's the giveaway for a simple Claisen condensation? Similar to the giveaway for a simple aldol. You got a product that's it's not tw exactly twice as big this time, but it's a lot bigger than the original. Uh, if you count if you count these two carbons here, then uh, yeah, this thing got twice as big when it became these two things. And uh, the mechanism has to have all the parts here, except it's all it's all together here. And HCl will be doing what HCl did here. So if I'm smart, no, I'm not smart. I'm not gonna, well, not stupid either. But I thought I could make this become this <laughs> and, and start my mechanism down here, but I realized uh, nah, that molecule is not the same as this molecule. So let's just do it. Don't fight it, do it. Alpha H. Oh, there's another uh, clue for a Claisen condensation you should always look for. When you have the base that matches this leaving group, that's a big hint for a Claisen. Look, this is the same base as this thing, and this thing's about gonna leave in the second molecule. I'm gonna prove it when I do the mechanism. So you got a match between OET here and OET in your base. You should be thinking about Claisen. Claisen starts with the removal of the alpha H. Unifying theme in the chapter. I don't believe we ever did the uh, pKa for a alpha to an ester. You might think it's lower than 20, which would be aldehyde or ketone. You would be wrong. Wow, I hate that. You learned about the inductive effect and that O here should help stabilize a minus, right? With its very strong electronegativity, pulling the electrons in, making it less anionic. But there's another story that's even, it goes in the other direction and it's bad. Esters are happily resonating right now. Before this even started, this O is resonating with the carbonyl back and forth. And now you've got this position also wanting to resonate with the carbonyl. The molecule, same way. I, I was happier before when I, you know, I had this resonance available out here. And now you're saying I got to resonate this way. Well, that means I can't resonate this way the way I like to before. You took that away from me. So, <laughs> okay, so PKA is now 25. It went the other way. The competing resonance phenomenon. This is more of a discussion in the text if you want to read more about it. What's that going to react with? I don't see any other molecules. Ah, well, the ratio of enolate. Yeah, I'll put this in a yellow box to the side. You don't have to copy it. Uh, 
the ratio of the concentration of enolate to ester, uh, just keeping in mind you made ethanol, also pKa16, and the difference between 16 and 25, 16 and 25 is nine, one over, uh, sorry, yeah, one over 10 to the nine. Wow, this thing is surrounded by ester. Forgot where the ester was? Here it is. So once again, I'm just, I will never grade your arrows. Like if you're using the appropriate equilibrium arrow, no, you can use a one-way arrow. I don't care. As long as your mechanism is good. I don't grade. Did they use the right arrow? I'm not doing that. But I just tried to reinforce what I said down here with the arrows here. And this thing is surrounded by ester. Let's draw another ester. It's going to attack the ester. OET with uh, alpha, beta, gamma. And we got the old, did I, write, I think I wrote red first somewhere on here. Red first, baby blue second. Coming back, leaving group off. Yeah, we're almost done. Yeah, synthesis, very cool. I'll even draw it. Looks like we're finished, doesn't it? Reminder, this is another new PKA, 10. It's not new anymore. This one up here was new though. New, new. You can't stop because you made OET minus. Don't pretend you didn't, you did. I hope this looks a lot like this step right here. Look, O methyl minus takes H. OET minus takes H. You get one more intermediate. The conjugate base of the final product. Which must be protonated using HCl so that you can get from there to here. Step two is HCl. Please use the HCl only once. HCl. Uh, now these, this arrow is confusing. PKA10 went to here. HCl now going up here. Whoa. I went right into the hydrogen. Just... And that gives that. Oh, wait. Wow. It's happened twice today. And that is the end of this one. Big picture. And stop the share. Here we go.